here at the Hall of Fame, Al Bernstein, with morning cup of coffee with Who Do I Spy? Aaron Pryor, the great uh, former champion, uh, one of the best in his era or any era. And we're just we're, we're just sitting here, kind of ruminating about um, things in the past. And you were talking about uh, one of the things that you wanted to get done in your career, but it, it didn't happen. Was fighting Ray Leonard? I asked um, Bobby after fighting him. I uh, was shocked that he didn't take the offer. But he, he went on the full Camacho and he wouldn't fight me. And I, and I really think that Ray Lynn, if he think that over, he should have fought me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lucrative and uh, maybe for him uh, also, for both of you, a fight to add to your legacy. Well, how can you fight Camacho and you lose to Camacho and not fight me? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I was the biggest thing out there in the 80s. And I, and I, I just don't know why I didn't get a shot. But not only with Ray Leonard, but Tommy Hearns too. I, I fought Tommy Hearns in the 1976 uh, Olympics. And uh, he, as a pro, he just looked over me, wouldn't even, wouldn't even talk about boxing. So, you, were, you were normally in the, at 140 pounds, but you certainly could, probably could have moved up for them if that would have been necessary. Yeah. Well, my first 10 fight was at 135 pounds. Champion. I wanted to be like with champion until Muhammad Ali Harold Smith came to my house and said, Muhammad Ali wants you, you got to go. And I, I, went with him to, to, I went with him and I won the championship. Yeah, yeah. Well, and, and those guys were fighting at 147, but uh, you could have been up there I could, that way. I, sure. I could have easily been up at 147 or I could have stayed at 135. But I, I couldn't get a shot at 135 from Howard Davis or Kamachi or nobody at 135. <laughs> the running theme here is fighting Aaron Pryor, not the best thing to do, but Alexis Orgoya did it twice, and uh, it, it, to, to his everlasting credit. What a great guy. I mean, you know, personality-wise, you know, I, 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 I wouldn't have fought him the second time if that personality wasn't like it was. I mean, I was mm -hmm. just uh, at arm, and he felt like, he felt like I kind of cheated a little bit when they all came out with the allegations that I had a black mouth. And I was like, okay, Lex, we're going to fight again. And, I, and I, whatever, I, I want to fight him again. So we did fight again. And they said, like, okay, you want to. I liked that. Yeah, you're a fixture here at the, the Boxing Hall of Fame. You and I uh, are here just about every year, it seems. And um, this atmosphere is special, isn't it? Oh, it keeps me all day thinking about boxing and what I did and what I want to do now. <laughs> you know, uh, there is a after boxing uh, atmosphere, like being at the Boxing Hall of Fame, this is the greatest place you could be. When I was at the Football Hall of Fame, the Baseball Hall of Fame, I couldn't even say hi to these players because I was at, at a basement, you know. And to be at the Hall of Fame, you get to talk to everybody. And it's exciting because this is the best that America has, the world has. Yeah, the International Boxing Hall of Fame. We got so many people from out of country, other countries, that are great champions that we recognize every year at the Hall of Fame, right here in the United States. Yeah. Couldn't have said it better. Very well said, Aaron Carr. Uh, we're just getting started with this. Enjoy the festivities. Oh, I'm ready. I'm excited. Hey, boss. Hulk time. Hulk time.